Forecast with meteorologist Ashley Ruiz. Good morning, friends, and a very happy Friday. We finally made it. It's 817, and we're waking up to cloudy conditions. It's cooler, it's breezy, and this is all because of the cold front that passed through overnight. 61 degrees, we have a north-northeast wind at 10 miles per hour and a blanket of cloud cover. So we'll likely have some drizzle through the morning hours. We have a good bit of moisture still locked in place in the mid-levels of the atmosphere. And so even though the cold front is now to our southeast, we're likely still going to have that chance for rain through the morning. Temperatures right now in the 50s and 60s. You could really point out where the front currently is. New Orleans, you're still in the upper 60s, whereas the rest of us are in the 50s and 60s. Now, winds are picking up out of the north. They're not as strong as they were when the front was just moving in, but they're still on the stronger side, and that's going to help usher in that cool, dry air. So right now, we have dew points in the 40s and 50s, and we're likely going to have dew points in the 40s and 50s today. So that's going to put us in that refreshing category for the muggy meter. As for Saturday, the same goes, except Saturday, it's going to be sunny. So it's not going to feel as cool out there. That wind won't have a bite to it, if you will. As we head into Sunday, back in the sticky category, dew points are starting to increase. Winds will pick up out of the southeast. So Gulf moisture, that means it's going to be more humid but especially on Monday. Heading into next week, it's, it's on. Our, our muggy meter is going to be up there. And so more moisture in place, that means chance for rain. That will return. So 20% on Monday, 30% on Tuesday. So it's not going to be anything substantial. In fact, all next week, we're likely not going to be tracking a system, a potent system, if you will. Now, next weekend, we could have another cold front move in. So next week, there's going to be a stretch of weather where it's warm and humid. As for today, though, that's that's not the case. We'll have a good bit of cloud cover in place for most of the day. In fact, most of the day will be in the 60s. Now, Futurecast, I do think they're overdoing it just a little bit, only because they're showing temperatures in the mid 70s by 2 o'clock. But I'm thinking temperatures will be locked in place in the 60s for a good portion of the day. We may warm up briefly into the lower 70s this afternoon as we see clearing skies. But plan on 60s for a good portion of the day. Even into the evening, temperatures are going to be on the cool side and still going to be a little breezy. Overnight temperatures will fall into the 40s and 50s. So tomorrow morning, we're in the 40s and 50s. So a cool start to the day. But it's going to be such a gorgeous weekend. Hopefully you can go outdoors and enjoy it at some point because especially on Saturday, 76 for a high, we'll have an east wind 5 to 10. Now Sunday, a bit on the warmer side, 84. But tomorrow, if you're heading out to any local pumpkin patches or corn mazes or anything like that, going to be spectacular. The afternoon, 76, and then closer to sunset, temperatures will start to fall into the 70s. Now looking ahead to next week, above average temperatures are likely, and average is around 80 this time of year. We're looking at mid 80s for a good portion of the week before potentially another front moves in. And then the Climate Prediction Center is saying into the last weekend of October, we'll likely have near or below average temperatures. So at least there's that. So going to have that brief warm up. So the brief cool down, brief warm up, and then possibly uh, back down into the 70s. 70 today, possibly if the clouds will clear in time, but overall going to be breezy, clearing skies, Saturday sunshine, waking up to the 40s and 50s, and then Sunday into next week, our temperatures are in the mid-80s overnight in the 60s. Let's get another check on the track.